Gonna leave this play a little bit longer just so you all feel that a little bit more culture. <laughs> It's actually, uh, it's actually one of my favourite karaoke tracks. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Edgar Casper, and I come from the mean streets of Cambridge, where there's a pub on every corner, but nowhere to park your bike. Well, that's mean. I'm here tonight to read you some rhymes from my new book, Prequel Rhymes. I've been working on this for three years, and I'm going to read it in its entirety. Oh, what a joy. <laughs> now, we've all heard of nursery rhymes like Humpty Dumpty, Three Blind Mice. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant rhymes. But what happened before the events in these rhymes took place? <laughs> Good question. So I took it upon myself to go on the internet and gather some research to create these 100% accurate prequel rhymes. The first rhyme that I'd like to read to you tonight is a prequel to Humpty Dumpty, entitled Humpty Dumpty, Part One. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty was fed up with life. Humpty Dumpty just boiled his wife. <laughs> now all alone he cried and he cried, I'll make an attempt at my own suicide. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, that does deserve a bit of applause for the back, if you don't mind, please. Thank you very much. Marvellous. Excellent. Hello there. Now, I don't usually do this, but you, um, you are quite an attractive lady, and I'd very much like to dedicate this next rhyme to you uh, as a tribute to your beauty. It's the prequel to Three Blind Mice. Three masturbating mice. Three <laughs> masturbating mice. See how they strum. See how they strum. They all strum over the farmer's wife who stabs their eyes with a carving knife. For this is the risk of their kinky nightlife. Three masturbating, but now mainly using their imagination because they are in fact Blind box. <laughs> <laughs> um, you there. I, I couldn't help but notice you didn't clap, so. <laughs> yeah, you didn't clap. Do you not appreciate poetry? I did. Oh, you did? Oh, I, I apologise. I did not see that. Okay. Um, as a treat, especially for you, um, I'm going to perform an improvised rhyme that I'm just going to pick off the top of my head right now. I am in many ways like a poetry angel sent down to educate the world. <laughs> so if I could just take your name, please, sir, and just leave the rest to me. Paul. Paul. Okay, Paul. Prepare to be blown away. <laughs> Paul. Score. More. Okay. <laughs> a man called Paul is sat over there. A man called Paul is sat on a chair. <laughs> One thing he lacks is. Um. <laughs> I like your beard, it's very neat. <laughs> um, you've got some shoes upon your feet. Sweet. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, I hope that's opened your eyes to the marvellous world of poetry. Marvellous. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh. That's so kind. Thank you. Yes. Um, I'd now like to perform my third and final rhyme from my book. Yes, it's it's a short book. Um, it's taken me three years, but it's all about the quality of the rhymes rather than the quantity. <laughs> this rhyme is the prequel to Little Bo Peep, entitled Old Man Bo Peep. <laughs> Old Man Bo Peep molested his sheep and didn't use lubrication. 
He did it at night, so not his daughter did fright, for this kind of act has no explanation. Little Bo Peep are now fast asleep, was oblivious to the sheep's bleating, for once they'd been fucked, tickled and sucked, <laughs> they suffered a severe bloody beating. <laughs> One sheep said, hey, let all run away to a land where we want to be raped. The very next morning, as Bo Peep was yawning, she noticed that her sheep had escaped. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now, I've written that in a way that it seamlessly blends into the next rhyme in which a little baby retrieves her sheep. Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, if you want to see me perform my prequel rhymes again, I will sure be performing them to a class at Mad Gates Primary School next Monday. So do pop along. Thank you very much. <laughs>